This is the slide with the nodular hyperplasia of the prostate gland, also called benign prostatic hypertrophy. It is a very common disease, actually. It is so common that it is almost uh, considered as a norm. The incidence increases with age, so if you don't have it yet, all you need to do is wait a few more years, unless you are a woman, of course. Uh, the reported incidence is about 20% in, at the age of 40, 50% at the age of 50, and about 70% at the age of 60. The hormones testosterone and dehydrotestosterone are responsible because they bind to the nuclear androgen receptors in stromal and epithelial cells and they cause growth factor activation. The stromal cells are also important because they produce 5-alpha reductase which converts testosterone into dehydrotestosterone. And dehydrotestosterone is uh, much more potent than testosterone because uh, it uh, dissociates from the receptor much more slowly. The consequence of nodular hyperplasia is uh, the formation of these periurethral nodules and compression of the urethra uh, with all the classic symptoms. The nodular hyperplasia can be usually seen in the central or transitional zone of the prostate gland, unlike prostatic carcinoma, which is commonly uh, located in the periphery of the gland. Microscopically, we can see the nodular transformation of the parenchyma and the hyperplasia of both the stromal component and the acinar component. So the acini are hyperplastic with the formation of these infoldings or papillary-like structures. And in between the acini, we see hyperplasia of the stroma, which consists of both fibrous tissue and smooth muscle cells. In nodular hyperplasia, the basal layer of the cells is retained and that is very important because uh, in case of carcinoma of the prostatic gland we see only one layer of the cells so here we see the acinar cells and uh, the retained layer of the basal cells here if you want to make uh, if we want to be sure that we have the basal cells here we can use the immunostains for p63 or high molecular weight keratin so this is benign prostatic hyperplasia Thanks for watching.